So we're checking out V Rising. I have played a little bit. Going to start on the new server. So we'll do a little brief explanation. Of course, you've got your online play, you've got your private game, and of course, you can always host a dedicated server. We're going to, of course, go for the online realm. Now, if you're not into PvP, there's three options, as you can see here, for people who want to PvP. And then, of course, you've got the one uh, PvE server where you don't have to worry about castle sieges or being attacked by players and dropping your gear or dropping basically what's in your inventory and if you're into pvp you've got a couple of options which is um, as you can see here this is just your standard pvp and then you can choose which type of pvp you want as this is it says in these war-torn realms vampires compete for supremacy as they reclaim uh, Valdoran. It says, at certain time frames, vampires may siege each other's castles and raid them for goods. Gather allies in the game of blood and power by joining a clan with up to five, excuse me, four vampires as you expand your domain. With full loot, as it goes on to say, it says, in these chaotic times, uh, it says, risk it all in every encounter as you drop all loot upon death at certain time frame vampires may siege and it's just basically the same time there's like a window where it allows you to do castle sieges so it's not like all day you know you're always constantly worrying about your castle being siege uh in the duo it says here it says at certain um yeah, it's basically just you and a buddy or if you want to go solo so if you're a solo player i would probably recommend doing that right here and then of course you can click on here find servers uh pick probably the most populated server especially if you're looking for more interactions if you're looking for less interactions and obviously pick a server that doesn't have as many sides and of course it tells you what the clan size that is available excuse me so if you want to go in we'll go ahead and we'll pick uh the most populated server and then we'll go right into the character customization so you can, of course you can pick a male character, female character, do some changes to the hair, etc. But you really don't pay attention to what your character looks like, of course. So we'll go ahead and got a couple of, ca of character customizations. As you can see, you can rotate the camera. Makes it a bit easier to see. You can't zoom in as far as I know. I haven't been able to zoom in. Well, that's an interesting face. <laughs> I like that. A little mouse face. Let's see what we can go with. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Let's go hairstyle. Maybe something that shows our pretty face. That's cool. I like the I like the long flowing hair. We might stick with that one. Uh, let's pick a hair color. We got purple haired witch. White. I think I might rock the purple. Maybe a little lighter. It's blue. That's okay. Um, let's change the eye color to yellow, maybe. Yeah, let's go yellow. Yellow eye color. I think this is the beards. That was another one. Yeah. That's like a little jawline thing. Let's go accessories, which I believe is the earrings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got some glasses. What's the last one? Let's go with this one. Actually, that would kind of defeat the purpose since I can't see my beautiful yellow eyes. We'll grab the long ears. Maybe we'll go with Cassandra. Let's see if we can create. I think those are all of my options. Oh, sorry. It is chosen. Alright, maybe we'll do the Cassandra with a C. Nope, my name is chosen too. Let's keep it simple, just for the sake of the video. So we'll jump in. This is basically where you start. Kind of shows you how to play the game. It's pretty cool the way you rise out of the coffin. I love the way that looks. That looks pretty cool. And this is basically the neutral starting area. Kind of show you how to play the game. Uh, you can hold shift to basically when you're jumping off ledges and then of course space bar Has a little bit of cooldown like you can see right there Leaves a little after image back there 
and the NPCs will attack the after image. You start off with what's this? Newly awakened PvP protector. You cannot be damaged by other players, and you're unable to deal damage to other players. So you can remove this effect by typing in slash PvP in chat. Okay. So that kind of gives you a little window of opportunity so you're not getting killed right off the bat. And of course we're going to start first by collecting some bones. I don't have a weapon yet, so that's where we're going to start. And you can use F or you can rebind um, the collect or interact. Let's move out of the way there. And so when you first start, you're going to start off with, obviously, the Veil of Blood, which is basically your dash, and then your next attack deals more damage, and it gives you, like, a little bit of a heal for 5% of your maximum health. And you start off with Shadow Bolt, which is going to deal, uh, it's a projectile that deals 200, and it basically slows. And that's a new player. Right, that's a new player right there. Level 5, right? I can't attack him because I'm PvP protected. There's another one. Right, and then once you've claimed your 30, this is basically how you're going to progress. So go hit tab, go to craft, and basically craft our blade. And this is basically going to walk you through the beginning of the game, where it shows you how to do some of the minor crafting, so you're going to craft all the weapons. Alright, and now we've got a sword. And we're going to be collecting some more bones. He's a little 5. Actually, his gear level 5. Let's go ahead. We'll shoot that. So it's pretty slow. It's pretty slow at first, as you can see. All these things are on cooldowns. Alright, now we've got... Next, we're just going to craft our bone ring, so we'll come back over to the crafting, basically your early crafting station, and we're going to craft, that's going to give us some more spell power, which is going to increase our magic abilities, which is basically here. Item crafted, what else do we got? Bone vestment, so this is going to do our chest piece. I wonder if I have enough, I, did. Uh, I don't have enough yet, so let's go and gather some more. And so if you're, you can see what my C ability is, that blocks, and then it'll heal me for a small amount. Alright, let's see if I have enough for now. And we can go ahead and craft our first chest piece. And then your character will automatically put it on. There you go. Alright, let's gather some more. Let's go ahead and kill these. This is just basically like the tutorial area. Alright, let's finish collecting and then we'll finish crafting. You can, of course, break pots in this game. So, like, all these pots here, just a lot of the environment is destructible. As you can see. And you're going to gather resources from it. So, you gather wood, you gather stone, you gather bone, and a host of other resources that are available in the game. We're going to go over here. Let's go ahead and craft some more. Let's craft the leggings. And I'm going to need some animal hide, so we're going to actually going to leave this area. This is just for the first part of the tutorial to basically craft your um, your bone chest guard and the legs. And then since there are no there are no um, animals, this is just a graveyard. So the only thing that you're going to find here is basically bones. And it's just to get you to walk through this area. 
And we'll come through here. And now you get to pick. These are your two starting points that you can start from. We'll come over here. We'll go to East Farbane Woods. And then as the game progresses, it'll basically, again, you can shift to jump down here. And so as you are progressing in the early game, it'll tell you how to advance. So basically your journal, your quests, so to speak. Let's grab the rest of this. Collect some rats. And let's be on our way. Still got 24 minutes. Looks like this person logged out and they're fast asleep. If someone is in your way, you can always drag the body, as you can see. So if someone's in your way for whatever reason, and you're trying to get around them, this is another mechanic in the game. As you can see, this is the day cycle. So when you're standing in the sun, after a couple of seconds, you'll see like a little beam start to come down. All right, and if you wait too long, you'll start to take damage, and so you gotta rush back into the shadows, because right? you're a vampire. This is one of the teleportation areas, so currently we don't have any... We haven't opened this up, but if you had no items, right? If you had no items in your inventory, or if, as long as you have resources, you can't fast travel. But this is what fast traveling looks like, and it'll just tell you you can't travel while you have resources on you. Only way you can cross the river, uh, any water, right? Vampires can't cross water. Uh, and so the only way that you can do it is, of course... Oh, what's this? Go ahead and feed. I'm going to show the feeding mechanic. And we'll talk a little bit about the feeding mechanic. So this was an animal it's a, or a creature. And so each creature or each sort of animal in the world, whether you're fighting humanoids or if you're fighting uh, brutes, if you're fighting warriors, they all have their own specific blood type. And each blood type, as you start to collect more and more of it, you start to level up and you start getting the different passives uh, for basically draining opponents of their blood. And you'll gain some bonuses there. Let's get out of the sun and let's move on. And that's basically what that looks like. Let's see if we can find some... Let's see if we can find something to kill that's not a skeleton. And I gotta rush back in before I, I start taking damage. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's get back into the shade. Let's see if we can find some wolves or something to kill. So I'm currently too low. This is copper right here. So it'll tell you when you're too low to gather a resource. It'll just say your attack level is too low. Let's go ahead. I think I can craft something else now. All right, so we can craft the bone gloves. And that will basically fill up this slot right here. And of course, my level will start to increase. As you can see, now I am level 9. So I, once I craft the uh, the boots, that'll make me level 10. And it'll basically advance me to the next story, which will unlock um, the bone axes. Which is, what, which is what will make it easier for gathering uh, wood from trees. Let's go ahead and move. See if we can find... I'm looking for some wolves. Actually, let's go left. I believe the wolves are to the left. And the beginning movement is a little slow. But later on, you will... As you can see, that person has... The mace, which makes it easier for them to gather. The stone. I'm looking for some wolves. I think in the beginning, it was a little hard to find them early game. But then, of course, as you progress, here we go. <coughs> it does become a little bit more dense. Let's come over here. Feed. So we're at four percent. Ah. Okay. So now we don't have to worry about basically moving around outside because we are now in the night cycle. So this person just put down 
their um, castle heart, which is basically how you start building your castle. You put this down, and then you've got to kill um, other mobs. And as you can see, because he hasn't filled it up, it says right here, see, it says in, um, in decay. And basically what that means is, is when he starts pulling up the walls, those, of course, are weakened and much more easier to kill in the way that you'll know that it'll say, as you can see here in the corner. Um, or you'll see when you're, there's like a little puddle of blood, kind of, kind of basically like a fountain. Basically looks like a fountain, so let's go ahead and craft our last piece. And that'll advance us and ask us to craft the bone axes, and then we'll move forward. So there's a lot of stuff that you can collect here. You can fill this inventory up. You're going to do the crafting very quickly. And then it'll ask us to do... Oh, oh I don't want to do that. Cancel. Unlocks recipe. Hit claim. And now we can craft axes. So we'll go back. Let me see if I can craft them. Yep, we can't. So we'll go ahead and craft that. And that'll give us the ability to cut down trees a little faster. So we'll go ahead and click four. Alright, so early game, the game will tell you what to do. Basically throughout the whole thing. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. But of course, once that PvP timer runs out, well then it's a completely different story. People are definitely going to attack you. And so obviously, do recommend... If you're playing solo, you're going to want to play on the solo server, uh, where it's typically one to two players. They don't have a completely solo uh, server, but hopefully they'll add that into the future, which is odd, because usually that's like the default. Now we can craft the Bone Mace, and that will make it easier for craft for uh, destroying and gathering resources for minerals and rocks. So we'll go ahead and craft that. And let's go smash some rocks. We'll switch over. Gather some stone. We'll do that three times. And then we'll be able to eventually work our way towards creating our heart. Somebody's probably got theirs up here. That's two. So, of course, when you're building, you'll have to make space. Let's go ahead and claim. Let's, let's gather that. Looks like somebody's heart was previously here, maybe. And so the benefit of gathering blood is later on you're going to utilize it to hear yourself. So through control, you can sit here and you can click blood mend. And so you'll start to heal as you can see and then you'll drain some of your blood pool. And that's basically how you heal in the game. Or at least one of the ways that you can heal. gather the rose and now we need to construct and interact with a castle heart so we can click b unfortunately that's one of the things that show you, you got to click b to create the castle heart and it tells you what resources that you need so as you can see you need blood essence blood essence blood essence is obtained by killing creatures in the world and of course gathering stone and you can basically put your uh, castle heart wherever you want we're going to go ahead and plant that right there and then once you want to expand basically your territory you've got to create borders right so as you can see here now I don't I only have enough for two so that's basically the gist of my border and then now to interact with it you've got to basically add blood essence to it but we're not going to do that just yet we're going to come over here and see if we could potentially kill this bear he is sleeping he is level, I believe, 16. We are level 10, but we might be able to kill him. So that's one of the attacks you want to definitely want to avoid. Let's 
go ahead and feed on him. He's a level 7 creature. So that'll take this up to level 7. There we go. Let's gather all of that. And let me see how many more do I have. 18, so I should be able to put down a couple of more. Alright, so we'll go back, we'll hit B, and then we'll go back into our border. And it highlights what your border is, as you can see right here. So we'll put another one here. And the re and we'll put another one here. Now, you can put your border down, but if you want to build upon the border, you've got to take down the environment. So I'd have to take down these trees. Let's say if I wanted to put a wall here, I'd have to destroy all these trees so that I can start building my wall. Let's go ahead and claim and we'll get our wall and structure. And so when you click B, uh, now you'll get your... There's a lot of different stuff that you can put down. For example, your stash. And as you level you'll start to progress you'll have more options that will be available to you like for example your coffin you can put down your coffin basically to rest go ahead and put that right here and we can start building walls right you can put a wall here as you can see it'll tell you it's red why it's blocked blocked by environment so we'll go ahead and break out the old axis and we'll start knocking down some of these trees so we've got a little bit more space now again keep in mind if you're utilizing the timer only got 20 minutes once that 20 minutes up we only got 13 a little bit a little over 13 minutes left and of course once the timer is up gonna be flagged for pvp so you want to utilize your time as as much as possible so that you can get started throw your base down have space let's go ahead and five and we'll clear this little spot right here all right and let's go back to B and start dropping some more all right now, so now that's basically my border and let's gather one and two and eventually we'll have a little bit a little bit more space let's go ahead and go all the way out to here and I think I'm, um, I don't have any more resources yet. So we'll have to go kill some more stuff. And so to start, to basically turn everything on, you've got to drop Essence. Now these things are typically a pain to kill if you don't have enough range attacks. Oh shoot. Let's not attack that, he's way too high. That guy is way too high for me to kill. There's some wolves over here. So we'll go ahead and kill these. This is blood type. He's only 1%. Not worth killing. Or not worth feeding on. Okay, so now we've got 21. Maybe we'll find a little bit, a couple of more. But early on, there's some some high level. I don't want to mess with that tree ant thing. Let's see. We should be able to go this way. Let's make our way back to our coffin. Here we go. That's a five. Damn it. Just trying to avoid that. There we go. Let's gather all this. Oh, he's a ten percent. Damn it. There we go. Let's feed on him because he's a ten percent. So that'll bring us from 7% to 10%, and it'll increase our movement speed. Let's go ahead and start building. And so ideally, you obviously want to close off your encampment so that in PvP it can't be destroyed, but you don't necessarily have to destroy everything on the map. Some of this stuff basically respawns over time. Uh, let's go back into crafting. 
checkpoint, and we should be able to put one of these over here, right, and a door. Boom. So that'll at least stop people from just casually walking in, but they'd still have to basically destroy it. And I don't think you can... I can come down, but I don't think you can come up that way. No, you can't. You'd basically have to smash the doors. Now, to get the structure working, right, we've got to click F. And then now you have the ability, let's break this up, let's break that up, right? And now you've got 32 minutes of increased power, basically. Oh, you're basically... You basically have got a little bit more durability on your structures. They want us to protect the territory by placing palisades. Now let's go ahead and find our palisades. Let's put one. Oh, I gotta take down the environment first. So let's go five. Let's make some room. So it doesn't have to be fairly large in the beginning. You can keep your structures small. But ideally, you want to have a place to put all of your stuff in the very beginning. You want to obviously craft your... Um, you obviously want to craft your chests so that you have a place to drop all of your items. So you're not constantly walking around full loop. So we got a little bit more space here. I don't want to take down the trees because the trees are providing me with shade. So let's go B. So let's just say for now, I'll drop my palisade. Let's put one. Uh, I got to take this down. And so obviously if I destroy it, as you can see, I lose the shade. So, gotta go back and forth. There we go. So now we've got a little shade. Let's hit B. Let's go to Blood Essence. And we'll go to expand the territory. Let's get back in the shade. And we'll just say, we'll call that our, our basic limit. Oh, can put a couple more here. But we'll start building. So let's put a palisade here. Alright, so it gives me a little bit of shade. And... Let's put one. We'll have to tear some of this down. Let's go ahead and go axes. Let's make a little more room. So we'll make a little more room. Basically, we'll make this a little bit, a little bit of a border here. Start off a little bigger. I've got enough wood. There's plenty of trees around here. Let's pick that up. Alright, let's go into B. And let's start creating. Uh, I gotta destroy that. Let's go over here. go B and we will start creating our walls we'll put uh, I've got to destroy that so let's go five all right let's get out of there all right let's finish this little bit and now we've basically got the little walls I gotta destroy that. Let's go back to five. Two of them here. Oh. Oh, we got about five minutes left, so I definitely wanna get this done. Okay, good. There we go. So, don't necessarily have to put a wall here. Uh, let's go ahead and hit B. And we will expand that. 
And I think we can put this down as well. And that'll offer us some shade. So we'll go ahead and hit F and we'll throw in some bones. And that'll basically cover our area with mist, as you can see. There's the fog, so that we can basically walk around our encampment without having to worry about dying. So we got a wall there. And of course, at any time, you can always hit B and then drag your item wherever you want it. Find a good spot for it. And we can go ahead and increase a little bit here, which is fine. And let's go ahead and knock all this stuff down. Is he coming for me? No, he's probably coming for like a wolf or something. Yeah, he's fighting a wolf. So the NPCs will fight each other. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it, did not mean to do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear some of this out. So we're just basically gonna show this last little bit here. So you kind of get the gist of it from there. From here on out, it's basically PvP. <coughs> Once that timer runs out, you're going to be flagged for PvP. So you're going to want to set up, in essence, your safe zone as quickly as possible. Gather your resources, and we'll go ahead and finish our wall up. And then we'll eventually push all the way out here. But I want to have enough space so that I can wall stuff off if need be. No reason to put any walls here. Let's go ahead and hit five. This should be easier. The moon is rising. So the last thing that we got to create is a wood stash, which we're going to do next. And that will give us the next part of our blueprint. Let's go ahead and clear all this out. And it's just basically just to have enough space so that it basically cuts off my area so there's only like one spot where people can come in and it gives me a little area where i've got access to other resources and mobs and stuff so let's go ahead out oh, somebody's coming in to say hello let's go ahead and feed on him level seven creature all right let's go b Let's finish off our crafting. We will look for palisades. We can create another door here, or, or a door here. I gotta take this down. Let's go five. Actually, you know what I can do? I'll just do this. What's missing? Alright, I gotta take those down. Let's just go five. Nope. Let's clear this last little bit. There we go. So now we've got a corner. We are good. And then let's go ahead and put a door here. And... We're gonna have to clear this out. So later on, you can always expand if you wanted more space. Of course, more space just means more territory to defend. 
Let's go ahead and use this. And we'll finish up. Palisade pillar. What's missing? There we go. And that basically, I believe for the most part, there's no way for anybody to get up here. I've got all my walls up, as you can see. We've got a little bit of territory. I can basically jump down from here. So what I could do is I can just put two pieces of wall over here, clear out this whole territory right here. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Let's clear this out. And this gives me a spot to jump down. And then we'll show how to deconstruct. And then we'll basically leave it there from here on out. It's gathering and PvP crafting. Alright, let's clear out this last tree. And we'll clear out that little spot right there. And let's go ahead and go five. And of course, as you gather more, you can expand more. Craft, you get higher level materials to make the castle look better. So we'll hit B. And so when you want to dismantle something, you just hover over it and then hold space. And it destroys it. Alright, and then we'll click here. Castle limit reached. I must be at 30. Oh man, that sucks. Um, so we're already at our max. So we'll have to go B and let's go ahead and put that there. So I'll have to basically do that. And that should stop, I think. Oh, I guess, <laughs> I guess not. I guess we'll have to put it back. Can I put something there? I don't think that's mine. Let's, let's go five. Let's take this down. Whoops. Let's take down this tree. There we go. There's another one here. So you don't have to take everything down because there's no way for them to be able to get up. I don't think I can castle limit. Okay, so I can dismantle. So I can... Let's dismantle that. And we'll put that there so that I can build a wall here. So that I don't think you'll be able to walk through. Nope. But it still gives me the option to jump down. And there's no way to get up through there. They'll just have to basically break the wall. So let's go ahead and add a couple more. That'll give us one hour. So we'll have to go out and basically kill more mobs but let's go ahead we'll go b and the last thing we have to do is you have to create a stash here's your stash and that'll give us our next we can go basic crafting and refining and you'll just basically keep on going like this as you keep going you'll have access to production you got a, a smaller stash you've got the uh, vampire lockbox we got some refining here we can do we can throw up a sawmill all right we can put up a sawmill right here We'll put up one for now. I don't have any copper. I won't be able to get copper. I need some more bone for all this stuff. So you, as you can see, we've got some lighting. I need planks for torches. I've got that. And basically from here on out, all you can do... So let's go ahead and we'll put our wood inside here. All right, we can interact with the sawmill and then you just right click drop all that in later on you'll get like a tannery uh, where you can drop your animal hide in there and just these are just basically uh, refining and to keep your base up you'll have to uh, go ahead and kill mobs and then drop the blood in here um, otherwise you'll start to go into decay and it makes it easier for people to be able to destroy your encampment but this is basically just a quick introduction we'll probably do a little more PvP playing this.
this is definitely interesting if you're it's available on steam for 20 bucks uh, if you if you like the sort of rust style survival type games um, or if you just like want to try out the PVE and explore and see what you can create feel free to check it out thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time